Hey y'all, let's check out Latte Leaf Cafe. Hey y'all, welcome to day 11 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're going to be checking out the Latte Leaf Cafe as well as the Starlust Marina. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So today I wanted to give the vibe of lunch by the marina as well as having a nice brunch at a cafe. So this is what I got going on. Gold and um, silver accessories today. Back up a little bit. Got my little purse with my little blazer. We'll go ahead and do a quick shoe cam. Can't really see the shoes. These are some shoes that I wore um, before. I just added gold accessories to them. And yeah, so this is my whole outfit. Let me back up for you guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and continue. So initially when I came here, I thought that it was just the cafe, but once I panned out, I also noticed that there was a marina. And so I didn't know whether or not we would be able to see the marina. I didn't know if they gave us access to it, but once I walked down the stairs, I noticed that we could get access to it. So I quickly panned out and I was like, okay, we're gonna check this place out. Haven't looked around, haven't been in the cafe or anything like that. You guys know I take a real quick one two of the land just to make sure that it is large enough to view and then i bring it to you guys so we can view it together so they have really cute a really cute seating arrangement i like how they have the dock um out here with a beautiful view of the marina and all the boats and things like that um, this is a moderate sim, so if you wanted to bring the kitties, you can bring the kitties. I have not checked if it is TP friendly yet, so let me do that really quickly. Okay, so it is not TP friendly, and that is okay. Just so that you know, if you double click on the land, it will take you back to the Latte Leaf Cafe landing point. I love this little mini cake it looks like. It looks kinda big when you zoom in on it though. So I wanna look at the cafe. I love all the food and the decorations on this land. It gives a very warm, bi-coastal type vibe. I love these little flower lights so pretty i love this you guys know i'm all about this stuff i love the like the little intricate details with like the little cups and things like that and it's like a latte because this is a cafe latte it looks so sweet and yummy okay so let's go on the inside and check out this cafe see what's going on Oh, it's so pretty. It's like initially when you come in, it's like a cute little flower shop. I'm gonna try to not spend too much time in this cafe because I do want to show you guys um, the other things that are on this land without having the video be too long. But you guys, you know I love stuff like this. So you're gonna have to bear with me for a moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, you know, keep it together all these really pretty plants and things like that my video from earlier today got age restricted and then when i look back and watch the video i said okay you know second life second life really does not have um very much of a filter and that's okay because it's not for the kitties so i'm like hey I, and what's so crazy is i always say my videos are not for children. So they're like, it's age restricted. I'm like, it should have been age restricted anyway. Cause I clicked no for, is this video for children? But you know, whatever. So you have to be 18 plus and signed in to watch it uh, apparently. All these yummy, yummy pastries. Oh, it looks so yummy in here. I love this. Look how yummy they look. I love this flower one. This reminds me of the letters in the building name as well as the little lanterns that they had. Not the lanterns, the um, lights that they had. 
in the little gazebo area that we just left. So yummy looking. All of the little pastries. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So all of these are shareables. You can click them and then you'll get the items. So let's see what else we can see. Oop, my apologies, miss. Then they have this really cute little intimate spot outside. Like it's still kind of enclosed within the cafe. I actually believe that I have this build. I believe I do. If the top is open, I have this build. Yes, I have this. This was a gotcha item. They did really, really well with this. Really, really well with this. So at this marina, they do offer rentals. However, I'm not sure if the boats come with the rentals or you have to have your own boat um, once you rent the space. I love this little coffee bike stand. It's so cute. Everything looks so yummy and rich. I was debating on whether or not to get it. It was so cute. I'm like, what, what, where are you gonna put this? Where you, what, what are you gonna use this for? But you know what, what are they using it for? It's decoration, so I would pretty much use it for the same thing. What's in here? Oh, little coffee pods, okay. So there's quite a few boats on this land. I don't think these are boats that you can res. I think these are just look cute boats, I guess you would call them. I love a good marina. There was a time not very long ago where I wanted to um, live on a marina, but I didn't have a boat. So this one is rented. This looks like they have their own boat. And this one as well. So this one is 150 prams for 200 lendings a week. What's crazy is I think I walked past this sign at first and I just completely ignored it. I didn't pay any attention to it. And then this is another slot where there's no boat. So I don't know if this boat comes with the space or if this is like someone's boat and they got evicted but they just haven't picked their boat up yet. I don't know, but if they're gonna let us look around this boat, I wanna look around this boat. The boats in Second Life are absolutely awesome. But a lot of times they are kind of snug, like this one is kind of snug. So I think it's real. this is a really cute boat. It's a really cute boat. And then they have the little, dog. I'm not sure if this is something where you can drive this boat. Some boats they do let you drive and then some of them are stationary. But this is really cute. They have a little, the bedroom and everything is down below. It's so crazy because I wanted to bring this to you guys, but it's been things going on in my life. Nothing bad at all. Just things that have been keeping me busy where I didn't get the chance to actually like really take my time with this land. I'm never going to rush through any space with you guys. So I just wanted to make sure that I was going to have enough time. This one is for rent too. Is this the same pricing? Can this open up? Oh, okay. It's giving me like a little trailer vibes. You get 100, and, 100 prams for 150 a week. Super compact. I'm not mad at it though. I do like that they have rental options here because on lands like this, a lot of times the rent will be like outrageous. And I think it's mainly because of all the different things that you get with the land um like just you all of the things that you get access to with the land so the pricing is is kind of understandable but kind of not in my opinion this one is a uh, 150 so the the price is very um not too much though so this place is huge the more i walk the more i see i don't like the videos being too too long because I want you guys to enjoy the video and not be overwhelmed seeing a time that's like 30, 45 minute video. Oh, this is nice. This is like a little club, well, a big club. This is the Starlust. Nice, this is Club Starlust. It's huge in here. 
Look at her. With the crows, very nice. So they have a little table settings, but like little with your friends and stuff that could come. This is a really big bar, a really big bar. Most bars are not that wide, so I like that it's actually wide. When they do, they probably have parties here, and when they do, they probably have like lots of staff that's here because that's a pretty wide bar. But it's not like they don't have the space for it. So they have the drinks and more drinks. I have this very nice um, liquor dispenser. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. So they have all the bottles and things like that. I like that they added like a little futuristic touch to this space. Um, I think that's really, really nice. Just something a little bit different coming from the cafe, a different type of vibe coming from the cafe. Okay, these flowers are nice. Little tulips. Okay now. What's over here? Huge dance floor. So they have like a place where they have like live performers and things like that. More like little side seating. This super cool DJ booth. I love looking at DJ equipment because the DJ equipment, they make it so intricate with all of the buttons and things like that. Look how cool this looks. They got all the little buttons and everything on here. With the laptop. Super nice. And then they have more of the, like the futuristic head sculpts or statues in the back. That's the office. Do we wanna go to the office? Not necessarily. What's this? Do these open? Okay. Now I'm just being nosy, cause what is this? Oh, this is like the control room. Ooh, how pretty is this? It's like a little secret space. I like this. I see some horses up there. Is this like a cemetery? Y'all, it's a cemetery, okay. So we're gonna check out this side first. Wow, okay, well, it's, a, it's a cemetery. I was not expecting that. And this little statue. I like how they have like these builds that they give like that ancient vibe to them. Like it was some type of catastrophe and this is the only parts that remained type thing a huge octopus which i think is very fitting for the land considering it is mostly water it's like he's looking over the land like where will i go next i like that added touch okay so let's check out this cemetery because i do want to see what's going on it's very small and that's fine, of course. But it's a cemetery nonetheless. Lots of places to take pictures and things like that. Lots of places to just explore. And just to really have fun with this space. I really like it. I love the sounds here. They got the birds. Where are we going next? Um, that the horses up here, they're gonna let us look at the horses. Can I look at the horses? Y'all gonna let me go in? Yes. Can look at the horses. These are some big horses. 
we'll come back to them and then they have a stable over here with more horses and hay that horse just chilling like if I wanted to be out there I would but I don't so I'm not very nice added touches so we have a Starless motel is that the motel up there I don't know oh this is cute little place that you could sit and eat oh we're gonna check the little beach out this place says rented but is this the like is this the motel that you can like role play in I don't know are you gonna let me go in? Okay. If this is someone home, I do apologize. It's very beautiful though. I love what you've done in here. So it has such an artsy feel. I love the telescope to be able to just like look out and see even um, farther. The views are wonderful. So I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I am not in shared environment. The shared environment lighting was very nice, but in my opinion, it was just going to be a little bit too dark for this video. When the shared environment lighting is darker than what I like, I'll always go with a different lighting because I want the colors to be optimal for you guys. I don't want it to be um, anything that you missed because of lack of lighting. How cute is this cat? adorable so what else do they have over here they have the wood stove what is this this is super cute I love the plant the cute little table flowers this is like just a little nook space that you can come chill at the little coffee table that's why you're taking a break from art very nice all of the decorations in here are very on brand for the land and I really really like that the wood burning stove with the bread very nice okay let's see what else we can see I love it this is a little I guess like a little restaurant spot type thing you can rent if you wanted to role play that so i wonder if this will let me go across Okay, so it's super cute on this side. This is just like a whole other marina area that you can chill at as well. What the drink's talking about. Okay, a little glass of champagne. You can get you some uh, ice cold pop. All right now lots of seating area you can sit right with your feet probably hanging off the dock or they have these seating options many many more boats i'm sure they probably have rentals over here as well very nice chest set i love all the role play options that you have here they make sure that you're definitely not going to be bored when you're here very nice this is another huge space that you can sit and chill at grab you a little snack to eat and then they have like a little map probably to let you know like where you are around the land and things like that very nice very nice 
So you guys, there's still so much to see and do at the Latte Leaf Cafe as well as the Starlust Marina. So definitely come and explore on your own. The landmark to this place will be in the description box below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.